Hey guys, this is Absinthe Ishmael. In this tutorial, let's take a look at how to disable parallax effects for smaller devices or smaller screens. So you realize that I have a page in here on this particular section or layout grid. It has a parallax effect set to the image. So once I go ahead to preview this in the browser, let me just preview this. And then once I scroll, you realize that the parallax effect takes effect in here. Now I want a situation whereby if I switch to mobile devices, so if I come here, I've already created a breakpoint in here. Once I come to the maybe the 320 pixels breakpoint, I wouldn't want this particular image to still bear the parallax effect without changing the image or changing the properties for it. So um, there's actually different ways of going about it. I'll probably say three ways of going about it. First is simply double click on this, come in here and then change this to maybe cover and then click on OK. Once you do that, it isn't going to affect what you have in here. So realize I still have my parallax as well as the other way to go about this. Let me just change this back to parallax. So the other way to also go about this is simply right clicking on, on an empty space on the um, page and then go to the page properties and then come to the advanced section. Now, when you come to the very bottom, there's an option here that says disable scroll event on smaller screens. So this is the option I'm going to check. And then the maximum width is basically on which um, width to probably going below which width should I consider um, disabling the um, um, scroll events for or that's the um, parallax effect for. So in this case, I probably would want to say um, 480. I want a situation by when it is below 480, then it should um, disable the parallax effect for it. So that's what I have to do in here. I go ahead and then preview my uh, page. Now in this case, I'm, go I'm going to preview this in the browser. So it isn't going to take effect as I expected to do uh, to be. It's still going to have the scroll, uh, the parallax effect in here because I am actually doing this in my browser. But if you go ahead to take a look at this in your um, on your mobile device, realize that the parallax effect goes out. But as I said, the parallax effect will work because it's in the browser. But on a mobile device, an actual mobile device, it's actually going to be disabled. So you wouldn't see the, any parallax effect in there. So the other option also is, um, so if you are not going to go with uh, changing this to uh, parallax, or you probably want to change this to something else, you can also go ahead and then say, just change the image to something different. So basically that's, those are the options by which you can go about disabling parallax effects for smaller screens or smaller devices once you have that option um, enabled for um, the default website. So that's just about it for this particular tutorial. If you are new to this channel, all you have to do is to hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Eshmalamte. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.